Hi, I'm Terry. I've lost 175 pounds with keto and carnivore. Thank you for watching. Well, while I'm making my evening tea, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my stuff ready for work tomorrow. I'm gonna take some rutabaga. Imagine that, that's a new thought, huh? And I have steak bites. These look pretty lame, pretty bland. I'm gonna put some umami seasoning. I'm gonna put some Creole seasoning. Hey there, Creole. Sup, sup. Mm. The dust on the bottle. Um, and a little salt. And we'll call it quits. I think that will be fabulous. Forgot a doggone spoon for my chili today. But I got one now. And then take my yogurt and my breakfast casserole. And that's what I'm taking to work tomorrow. And in the meantime, I'll, have, I'll use my coffee. Put my coffee in there tomorrow. And I will put one of these flavorings in. So I'll put this in the refrigerator. And tonight, right now, I got me my sleepy time tea. I usually put in a Ziploc just so it stays, I don't know, sealed up. I pour my water in. So I like this little thingy, but I think I like the fork better. I don't know, because then I just smush it down and let it just sit like that. And that thing would probably do it too, but I just like the way the fork works. So anyway, I have this, so if company's around, I could use it and be fancy. <clears throat> but when it's just me, I ain't fancy. So, all right, see you in the morning. You know, before COVID, we used to have potlucks every so often. So now that things are slowing down in our area, I asked if we could have a potluck. So I come in, I got here early, and I scooted this conference table back, and, and I brought some big plug-ins. So we usually use a different room. But anyway, so we're having a potluck today, and I forgot that, and I made up my lunch. Um, but I'll still... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I won't eat my lunch, but my plans <clears throat> for the potluck today, this is my crock pot, and as you see, it's empty. What I'm going to do is, I've got uh, baggies for when it's done. Oh, and there's a bill. I'm glad I opened that. I brought that to look at. I brought scissors <coughs> and a knife, and I am going to run to Sam's before the potluck starts, like 10.30ish. And I'm going to pick up like three or four rotisserie chickens. And then I brought the scissors and the knife because I'm going to cut it, you know, into fours. So there'll be like a breast and a wing, a breast and a wing, a leg and a thigh, and a leg and a thigh. And I'm going to, I've got my like, crock pot liners, and I'm going to put them down in this on low or on um, keep warm. And um, so that way I know that I can have that chicken. I know I can have rotisserie chicken. <laughs> So then, as other people bring in dips or or other side dishes or whatever else they're bringing, which you know, it, it's just a variety. People can bring what they want, but like it, like um, I know people on my team are bringing things to make nachos, so I can put some nacho cheese on my chicken, or I can put whatever you know other dips that people bring um, on top or beside my chicken. Um, you know, somebody always usually I say. Um, bring something like a salad or um, or veggies. So my that was that was kind of my plan. So if I go pick up some rotisserie chickens, then that can be you know for me I'll have the rotisserie chicken um, a cup maybe one or two pieces and then can have some of the size to go with it. Um, and other people, I know we've got two or three other people that are doing Weight Watchers, and I know for them, chicken is zero points. So chicken is something that, you know, even if somebody's trying to be healthy, they could get a piece of chicken. And like I said, I'm going to put on gloves and cut it up into 
into pieces so people aren't like, um, you know, touching it. Used to in the olden days, people would bring a rotisserie chicken and pe people would walk by and pull off what they want. Well, that's kind of gross. It's funny. We didn't think anything about it then, but anyway, now we do. So um, I am going to um, to bring the get the rotisserie chickens. So at Sam's, mom showed me a picture. They're five dollars instead of seven. So I'll get three or four, and then that way there'll be some variety. Because four times four is sixteen, so that'll be sixteen servings or so, and uh, maybe even more. I don't know. So, but that's something I'm doing. Hey, so I'm waiting on one of my team members to come in, and um, I brought my breakfast casserole. And yesterday I just ate it cold. I just. Ate I think it was yesterday. Anyway, one day this week, I just opened up the Ziploc bag and I did it just like I do my muffins. Just. So that's what I did yesterday. Or one day this week and what I'm going to do today. And then, and then I got my peach yogurt. That's going to be my breakfast this morning. And like I said, I'll show you what we do for my, for lunch. Bye. So we've got two different types of, of uh, seasoned taco meat. This right here is some nacho cheese that somebody's got. Um, this is queso cheese that somebody brought. Of course, chips back there. There's sour cream and cheddar cheese. This is some black olives. And then they got some jalapenos. That's the chicken that I got from Sam's. We have some salsa and salsa different kinds of salsa somebody brought a veggie tray and then some salad fix and stuff so that is what we have on our potluck and i'll show you my plate later so here's what i'm eating i've got lettuce and these are this is what i picked up from sam's parmesan cheese crisps and there's some bacon pieces and i've got a couple pieces of broccoli over here we've got a chicken thigh and leg with some taco meat and nacho cheese and salsa and some queso cheese with some veggies so that is my lunch today <clears throat> let's talk mind games so i am still terry which means i still have the same mind i still have the same addictions i still have the same issues i've eaten all that food my stomach is full <clears throat> i'm not like a thanksgiving full but i'm full and my brain is still Terry. And I want to go back in there. I want to fill another plate with more chicken. I want to have um, more of the nacho cheese. I want to have more salad. And I do not have room. But <clears throat> in situations where I don't have my food in a controlled portion, my mind like a situation like this not home eating my salad you know that's not controlled but that's veggies and I'm not think so worried about jicama making me fat or lettuce making me fat or cabbage but the mind games continue just because you hit your goal weight doesn't mean you got it all together my brain is really Go get more chicken. Go get more chicken. You're the one that brought it. You can have more chicken. Nobody will care if you eat more chicken. Chicken's low carb. Go eat more chicken. Or go get some more veggies. <clears throat> go get some more lettuce. It's just there is a loop right now in my brain saying go get more. Go get more. Go get more. Um, so I, I just want to share that with you because, yeah, I've reached my goal. And I have been... At my goal, November, December, January, February, March for four months. But I'm still Terry. And I still have the same mind games. So that is why I have to stay controlled and why I can't eat other things. It's my brain. Okay, bye. So here's an update. I did have two, <clears throat> two carrot sticks. And I dipped them in some of the queso dip. So that's the only thing extra I've had. But my mind, <clears throat> he wants to go in there. He wants to go in there. There's food in there. Hey, there's food around the corner. Hey, you know, I bet you could go have some chicken. Hey, <clears throat> why don't you go get you some of that? It's a salad. Hey, there's some salad dressing in there. Hey, 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 hey. Over and over and over. It's a loop. It's a loop. 
Um, so what I did do was I went in and I pulled all the chicken off the bone and I've got it in Ziploc bags that I'll take home and pop in my freezer. So I got quite a bit of rotisserie chicken. I'll show you, hang on. Okay. It's got two Ziploc bags and I just put them inside one Ziploc bag. When I went to Sam's, I got some lettuce. So I'll work on that this week. And then I bought some of these. There are a lot of calories. I may not keep them or I might just crush them up. I don't know what I'll do. Anyway, we'll see. But then I bought these at Sam's because it's real bacon pieces. So it's the same thing I use on my stuff at home. So I'll just put this out in, in stuff and pop them in the freezer. So, um, so that way I can reuse these. But by going in and doing something with the food in there, it kind of settled my brain down. So by, I put on a pair of gloves and picked the chicken off the, off the bones and, and it was enough that it kept my brain. I just want to go in there. Let's go see what they have. Maybe I need to take a bite. Maybe I need to see. Maybe what are they doing? Da, da, da. So that's how my brain goes. It's a continuous loop and a continuous cycle. So by going in there and picking the chicken off the bone, that helped my brain kind of settle down and realize the food is right here. It's not going anywhere. I'm not missing out by not eating this or that. So it was definitely the same old routine in my brain, you know, cause I would have gone in and had a whole lot more in the olden days, but I was able to talk myself off the ledge and I made it. But I just wanted to share that with you because, you know, you're still gonna be you even when you lose weight and your mind is still gonna be focused on that food. Okay, bye. I am home from work and I'm having some, some, uh, my, my throat, I keep getting choked, like my saliva is thickening up. So I kinda think I ate something a little bit weird today and it's allergy season, so who knows. But anyway, so, uh, uh, I bought, you know, you know, I had the chicken. I'm going to get some gloves. I picked it all off the bone at work. So as I was, and I may have said this already, but about two o'clock, I started having some issues and I'm like, I got to do something. I got to do something with that food in there. It's really, it's really starting to get to me. So about two o'clock, I went in. And started gathering up my stuff and, you know, gathering up my chicken and putting it into bags. And, um, and I <clears throat> took the lettuce and put it into, <clears throat> I put the lettuce in, you know, in a Ziploc bag. So I was just kind of doing some things to, to end, end it up, you know, to kind of help put it all to an end so my brain could be like, okay, Terry, the food is gone. You can just stop. And that's, it's what I needed to do because that brain, the food was there and it was in the next room and it was really, really killing me <clears throat> mentally. It was just driving me nuts that that food was there. And so I was like, okay, Terry, let's, let's do something about it then. So I, I went in and like I said, I, I cleaned, I, I got my chicken together and I got the lettuce together and I got, um, um, I got my bacon pieces and I ended up giving somebody the, um, the chicken Parmesan or the Parmesan crisps. And I did that because they were pretty high calorie, more higher calorie than what I want to Spend my calories on on such a small amount of food, <clears throat> and so um, I uh, um, I gave those to a coworker. Anyway, so I, I by doing that, I was able to relax my brain, and once it was all put away, um, you know, I got my stuff put away. Um, as I was putting away, other people were starting to come in and put their stuff away and uh, and and once it was all being put away my brain it settled down it was kind of like okay that's the end and maybe that's some anxiety I have no idea 
But um, that might be just anxiety, just knowing that it was all in there and knowing that it all needed to be put away. Um, but anyway, so... So getting it all put away really, really helped set those urges at ease. And um, I was able to relax a lot more and just enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Um, so I just, I wanted you to know, like I said, it, it's, it's not, you're not cured just because you reach your goal. So, but you could see how much chicken I had left. At first I was like, you know, I'm spending $20 on bringing chicken and uh, that's a lot of money to take. But then, uh, you know, then this happens and it's the end of it. And I'm getting, I brought all this chicken home and now I'll be able to, you know, use this. I'm putting it in, in seven ounce servings. And uh, of course you can imagine I have some, some monsters down at my feet just hoping I drop something. But, uh, so I'll, I'll give them a bite at the end. But, um, uh, anyway, so yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's how I went. That's what happened. So the way I was able to relax my brain was to finally go in there and start cleaning up. And then I had, I moved the table back where it belonged and I, um, I wiped off the table and just kind of was able to close up shop and that really really made a huge difference on my mental on my mental psyche uh, at that moment so I just wanted to share that with you so that way you know if you're ever in that situation you know and and you're just you're like what if, you know what I need to get away from this food I don't really know what to do don't really know how to process it well that's that's what I managed to do was going in and finishing it and putting it all away that really really helped me because then I wasn't like oh there's food over there there's still food over there I, I need that food I need that food when I was so full and I was sitting in my office just drinking water and drinking water I was drinking so much water that I was like bloated and full and and felt like I was sick because I was just drinking so much water but it's what I had to do to get through. So just know you're not alone. And um, let's see how much chicken I've brought home. I think I'm going to get one more maybe. We'll just see. We will see. <clears throat> These dogs may not get a bite. Oh, that's funny. It's 7.9 ounces. Well, I can't not give them a bite. 7.3, so... There's one, two bites, three bites, four bites. All right, so 6.7, that's close enough to seven ounces. I'm not gonna notice 0.3 ounces being out of this chicken bag. So, let's see how much we got out of this. Those, I tell you what, them Sam's chicken were huge. It was not the same as Walmart. I thought they would be the same, but they were absolutely not the same. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight servings. So I got eight servings left over of those big old chickens from Sam's. So I'm going to put these in a Ziploc bag and put some in the freezer and I'll work on supper. Hang on. So I have that much jicama left, and I'm just gonna put it, <clears throat> I'm gonna use this as my salad bowl. This is some of that lettuce that I had from today. I'm gonna put in some, sprinkle in some lettuce. <clears throat> We're gonna have salad with chicken on it. It's not really chicken salad, but it's a, it's a rotisserie chicken salad, but yet not like chicken salad that you put on something. I don't know. I don't know what you call it. I mean, yes, it's salad, and yes, it's a chicken salad. There's some tomatoes. My coworker, Leslie, 
I told her about, I don't remember I was talking about putting some, <clears throat> putting cucumbers on my salad. She said, that's not as weird. Some people put a bunch of raw, le uh, raw onions on their salad. And I just made a face and I'm like, I put onions on my salad. <laughs> I'm like, she doesn't go into meddling now, that darn girl. She needed to mind her own business. I tease because <clears throat> she's the one who I've worked with for 10 years, and she's my, um, she's my uh, uh, health-conscious co-worker who's put up with me and all my weird diets all these years. And uh, she's been very, very good with me and patient with me. Yeah. Listen to me complain about about my weight. Meanwhile, I'd go to McDonald's and Burger King after work and have fries and a shake, and you know, and yet I'd still have the nerve to complain about my weight. So um, anyway, I'm like, girl, I don't know how you put up with me this long. She said, I don't know either. Well, she didn't really say it, but I know she was thinking it. I'm behind you because I'm getting out some salad dressings. I didn't have any. I just had this. Um, just had this. This uh, Parmesan peppercorn marinade open. I do want some of this because I just like this flavor. So I'm gonna put some of that on here. So I'll, lately, I have not been weighing everything, but again, the main. The main course has been usually the same stuff that I weighed out, and it's all been 600 to 620 pounds. So, <clears throat> the thing that's changed is just the size, and I'm not adding anything different to my salads, although I am adding more dressing. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> so far so good. My scale isn't going down or up or anything wonky so there we go that's gonna be my supper tonight a salad topped with rotisserie chicken and that's, that's all folks bye